Hey, it's me, Alfina. You've probably never seen me before because I'm new. Well, sort of. I will play as the role as a new character in the series Vampires and Werewolves. But you better know what this video is about by the title and everything, so I don't have to explain that much. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now, this is the fourth episode of Light's Life. If you don't know what that is, so sorry about that. Life's Life is a little mini-series we made where we just talk to the audience. It's kind of like bunny slipping vlogs, where we just, we vlog or we just talk directly to the peoples. So right now we are uploading, like, something. It is called LPS Family. It's a new series that we've made, and it's going to have about... Actually, we're not sure how many seasons it will have. This it, you'll see when the when the video comes up. Okay, so we are currently watching an LPS video, and we would like to just talk about our personal thoughts and stuff. For starters, Hasbro needs to bring back the old LPS. I don't have any video proof of why yet, which I will make in the future, but. I think the old LPS were better and just, people liked them way more. So the old LPS should return, but I wish they would return. Also, I, ver I think that, <clears throat> I also think that LPS Tube has become more widely known to people than what it used to be. I feel like LPS Tube is really expanding extending its community basis to other communities as well. You didn't know, in June, the LPS2 community kind of spread its basis and is now known by a YouTube vlogger who is called Mommy Cat TV, well, Mama Cat TV. She is a YouTube vlogger and I think the LPS2 community has extended over there. Now the LPS2 community is a big community. It has, I don't even know. I know there is thousands of members of the LPS community on YouTube. And it has extended a lot over the years. The community started in 2007 and that's grown a lot because back in the past you can see <clears throat> <clears throat> the differences in quality like in back in the old LPS tube days videos weren't that good quality and back then there was an excuse for that <clears throat> but now quality has improved and there really isn't an excuse anymore but the community has grown a lot since then. For starters, the community started on YouTube, but it grew to other social media platforms, including Weebly, Google+, which is pretty automatic, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Wattpad. Some people are on, Tum are on Pinterest, but not many. Ask.fm, certain blogging websites. It's extended. Oh yeah, and Facebook and Tiny Chat. <clears throat> and gaming websites like Animal Jam. It has extended to these communities as well. The Animal Jam community, social media platforms, and it has already extended into gaming. LPS Tube, I call it LPS gamers, people who are LPS tubers and also do games is extended to Minecraft and some games too because Pedro 863 makes LPS gaming videos which kind of means that this community has you know extended to other games as well sorry if the heads out of movement including Mario Kart Double Dash Super Mario 3D World Mario Kart 8 and Super Smash Bros for the Wii U 
and Minecraft. It has extended to those platforms as well. So, you know, LPS Tube is it's growing and it finally reached the YouTube vloggers community. Well, it has been on that for like since 2014, but it has only been widely noticed in 2015. It, I mean, Unicorn Annika, <coughs> who is the which is the face channel for Awesome Possum Productions, she was a YouTube vlogger and an LPS tuber. So the kind of music community extended over, but it only was widely known in 2015 in June. So we finally are becoming a little bit well known and our community is growing a lot and it's extending to other communities and stuff like that which is really good news and not to mention outdoor influence I would say has somewhat influenced our community but the thing is with LPS tube I think we all influence our own community with the videos we make is how we inspire others to do certain types of videos or inspire them to make an idea that's completely original and it's, which inspires us to try to do the same thing. So in a way, we all contribute to the LPS community. So with the videos you make, it can inspire others for certain videos. <clears throat> okay, that got really deep there. So, yeah, but... <sighs> but LPS Tube's growing, basically. And I think if you want to be an LPS Tuber so badly, just do it. Like, just do it! Okay, sorry. But... Just do it because there's going to be a time in the future when there are so many LPS tubers now uprising the fame and popularity that if you join now, chances of you getting popular will take a little bit longer because other LPS tubers are rising to the top and you just now decide to join. Join now while you still can because in the future, it is either... <coughs> you are more likely to get subscribers or less likely because people are going to keep focusing on all these other LPS tubers and you know, there will be you. So, if you want to speed up your subscriber process, there are many tricks you can do, but I'm not going to say that in this video. And now I have, as of this video is being filmed, I have like, how many subscribers? 219. Now that's, that's obviously it's not a lot in comparison to many people, but I've one, one thing I've learned is you should appreciate the subscribers you got because there are plenty of people who probably wish they had that much too. So if you think you don't have a lot of subscribers now, just think of all the other people who don't have as many subscribers as you do. No offense to those people. It's just if you think you don't have enough, you should just, you know, look at other people who make videos and don't have many subscribers. Who definitely deserve subscribers. But you have to earn subscribers. Don't bribe people or force them. And one thing I I stopped doing is asking for subscriptions. Because <sighs> at the end of all my videos, I would used to say, don't forget to subscribe like they do in gaming videos. But over time, I realized I don't have to say that. And plus, it's making the end of my videos way too long anyway. But I realized you do not have to say that. People know what sub subscribing is. And they'll subscribe naturally. You think that you're going to encourage it, but it, it barely changes anything. If you told someone to, to subscribe or didn't tell them to subscribe, it wouldn't change the amount of subscribers. Like, it pro it would a little bit, but it wouldn't change a lot. The re so there really is no point in asking for subscriptions when you will get them eventually. 
and it takes you have to earn your subscriptions don't ask for subscriptions because i do not sub for sub like for like box for box you don't know what that is sub for sub means if i subscribe you if you subscribe me i'll subscribe you like for like is if i like if i like your video you'll like my video and box for box is this you see that box my little stars if i put someone in that box then they'll box me and like that's okay i'm just going upstairs but well okay it's not very okay because it's kind of okay yeah this is my room i'm not gonna give a tour or anything because i did that like three like a month ago <clears throat> but that is pointless <sighs> and it's annoying show some respect to the lps too because if that's all you comment it's just going to get very obsessive and eventually it's going to drive the LPS tuber crazy. Now, you, even if you tell them not to, you'll always get those comments. And one thing to do is to get rid of them. Do not keep those comments around because eventually it's going to start clogging up your channel. And you don't want that. Your comment section is supposed to be a nice place. Not a bad place. So, just... So just block... Don't block the, the people who keep doing it. Because that's mean. But just remove their comment. It's a little bit nicer. By removing their comment, you're making the comment section free. You want, I would want it to be free. You don't want your commenting to be filled with those comments so you can't even see the compliments or people's actual opinion on the video. Because in LPS tube, people actually really comment about the video, while in other things like in gaming, they don't always do that. No, they never do that really. So if you're gonna comment, try to comment about the video or something related to the video or something related to LPS but that you don't have to do that I'm just saying just don't spam people like that because eventually they're gonna block you and you know just remove those comments you don't need them oh now on to dealing with hate lots of people will every youtuber who makes videos at some point will receive some type of hate in any form, hating or cyberbullying or any of that. But there's one thing I've learned, it's don't respond, ignore. If you get a hate comment, do not respond. For starters, it only provokes the hater more. And when people see that, they'll think you're immature or something. So if you get hate comments, one thing to do is just don't reply. I know it's hard not to reply, but if you're going to reply, don't reply in a hateful way. Just say, hey, this is my video, and you don't like it, and you can leave. Like, I would say that is an okay reply, but don't say, well, your videos suck anyway. Like, that's not an okay reply. If you're going to reply, try to have some sanity, because then you're becoming the hater as well. And, or you're becoming the cyber bully too. So, respond, if you're going to respond, res respond in a mature manner. But if you don't want to respond, for starters, when you read the comment, do not take the comment to heart. Your videos are amazing and don't let anyone tell you that they're, that they're not. So if you, so just don't, you don't need negativity, remove the comment or ban the user from your channel. This will so that the, per the same person will not comment again. But if you think they deserve a second chance, just remove the comment. And if they come back again saying something hateful, ban them. If they come back saying they're sorry, don't ban them. 
because of it. Some, not many do, but some do apologize for their behavior. And when they do, that's usually, that would be, it would be mean to block them after that. But you can if you want. But block, report, ban, or reply in a mature manner. These are the things you can do with dealing with them. And whatever you do, do not take whatever they have to say to heart. Because remember, your videos are awesome. Don't let them tell you that they're not. Because they're not the ones making the videos. And I hate how when people insult a video and I go to their channel and I see like they had no videos posted or the videos they're posting are quote unquote not so good. And I'm like, don't be insulting my videos if you couldn't do any better. But that is not a mature way to deal with it. So that's why I did not reply. I removed the comment. And, you know, I didn't ban them because I gave them a second chance, but they do come back. They are getting banned. So don't spam people. It's annoying. Don't say like for like, sub for sub, or box for box. Don't do that. And don't ask when the next episode or the next video will come out. That is annoying. I've never gotten those comments, and I'm glad I didn't. But I can see it. It's very annoying and stressful to the LPS tuber. You have to be patient. And besides, they have a life, and they could obviously post other videos that you might like too. But they have a life, They some, most have school, so they don't have time to just 100% do LPS videos. Please be aware of that when you're, at, when you're about to type that comment. So click the, the post button, whatever the button is. Just be aware of, if, just think, will this comment annoy or offend the LPS tuber? Because most LPS tubers or YouTubers in general get a notification when they get a new comment on their videos. So they will see it. Now if you're very popular and you get lots of comments, then they won't see all of them if there's too many to see. So just think, will it assault or annoy the LPS tuber? Or will it annoy the comment section? So you have to think spamful to say, just don't do anything. Because lots of, suicide is never the answer. And you don't know, you, your discouraging words can really emotionally scar a person. And people can be very sensitive, not saying that you are or aren't. And some people are very fragile and you don't know what's been happening in their life for you to just say something to make it worse. Some people could be really depressed and LPS2 could be their getaway to happiness. And if you post a hate comment, you're, you affected their gateway to happiness. And you kind of just ruined it from there. So, do not post hate comments. And if for those of you who do get hate comics, comments, ignore them and move on. Remove, report, block, ignore. Or if you like to reply, please reply in a mature manner. And that's all I have to say for this episode. It's probably long, but it's kind of supposed to be. Hope you enjoyed, and you will be seeing me in the future. Bye!